And when you watch this little pack from about 6th to 15th, seems like the odds of a caution are fairly strong. Whoa, Whoa. right like right there. Whoa, Gus Dean trying to hang on to it. That's going to split this pack up a little bit. You see Riley Herbst going by on the inside. Quinn Hauf now on the outside. That's Ferrier in the 46 car. That may cost this group the draft. They've got some work to do to catch up to the lead pack. Well, there we go. Huge wreck. Core, Half, Lamastus, and Doza all involved. Semi big one here at Daytona. Caution number four. The 98 of Half just didn't give them enough room. Guys, we saw that coming from miles away. Yeah, th three quarters of a lap before that, anyway. It's going to be a break for Natalie Decker, but what a tough break for Brian Doza. He was doing a nice job staying up there running in the lead pack. And I might have said Core, but that was John Ferrier, his teammate yes, that was yes. involved there. Core the is still car. the leader, yeah. and he's fine. So that's Ferrier that was involved in the 46 for Empire Racing. That's Doza there. In the OB Builders Chevrolet. There's the 46. That's Ferrier. Been so impressed with the resilience of these five star bodies, these composite bodies. They can only take so much. Yeah, there's some, they've been some hard hits here. You see the damage to Chad Bryant's number 77, driven by Bola Mastis. See the right side damage. Tough ending for them. Yeah. He finished sixth here a couple of years ago at Daytona. Let's go back and see how this started. We'd earlier seen a big wiggle for. Gus Dean. There's going to be contact. Gus is going to make contact with the eight right there. They make contact. And that slows the entire field up now. See, now that puts them three wide. And as we did, they're going to go by the start finish line. And then we get down to turn number one. The 98 of Hauf is trying to go around the outside of uh, Dean in the 32. And we get down to the corner and he just doesn't give him any room. He turns in the corner like he's not there and squeezes him. Mm. And, uh, and that's what causes this melee. Tom Hessert very fortunate along with Michael Self to get by on the inside. So I think Gus Dean got out of that. He's still shown in 10th position. There's another view of that initial contact between Gus Dean and, and the eight of Chase Purdy. Hoff does a nice job avoiding the 32 of Dean right there. But they get down to the corner. Watch him squeeze right here, guys. Just not enough room. And once the cars get attached, it's over. See Leilani, watch her in the green car. She's going to make evasive action. You see the green and white car go by Michael Self. That was Tom Hessert above Michael Self. Leilani does a nice job driving by before they came, come down off the banks. Bobby Gerhardt getting through. And here's Gus Deans on board and watch him squeeze through this more damage possibly now to the right front of his car. Thomas Prater getting by on the outside with that nine car. Mm. So this works out for some that have been quick like Zane Smith who's lost all kinds of track position. Maybe he still has life running in 17th. Yeah, Tom Hessert, Michael Self, who would drop back a little ways. Now they're back up in the top 15. Natalie Decker is able to make a pit stop and work on mm -hmm. her car. Look at all the damage to that 77 of Bo Lamastis. Pit road is closed, but significant damage for Lamastis. So he'll come in and do the work. So caution number four, another restart coming. And Sean Core is the leader of the ARCA race at Daytona. Stay with us on FS1.